What if you had the chance to do it all again? To go back and right a wrong, undo one or many mistakes, to live a whole new life. Tokyo Revengers tells the story of a man given this opportunity, Takamichi. He lives an awful life, ashamed of his job, the place he lives, and his relationship history. He believes he's fallen just about as low as he possibly can when he's knocked down even further. An unseen assailant with indeterminable motives forces him onto the tracks as, in his final moments, he thinks back to the recently deceased Hinata Tachibana, the only girlfriend he ever had. The curtains begin to close on his waste of a life when he wakes up to the world rewound 12 years, a new lease on his life. Thank you to the patrons Bolivar Sanchez and Lucas HF for helping make this video possible. If you clicked on this video, love it or hate it, you already know a thing or two about Tokyo Revengers and have probably already figured out how I felt about it. It left a lot to be desired. Takamichi is annoying, the premising revolving around middle school biker gangs is off-putting, and the story, especially as the manga drags on, is repetitive and flat. If the volume covers weren't so pretty, I probably wouldn't have read all the way through and endured Takamichi ruining the returner genre time and again with his incompetence. You saw the title, I made the title. Today we're talking about Tokyo Revengers, but good, and it's time to reveal how you've all been tricked and drawn in by my schemes. That's right, you thought this was a high effort, well thought out video, but it was me, a tier list. Now, how does this work? Well, I'm going to look at all the best returner slash regressor stories I've seen and lay them all out there for you. And for the uninitiated, those are stories that basically revolve around characters returning to the past to relive their lives. I'm going to be stretching the criteria just a bit though and include stories where the main character has extensive knowledge of the future. Whether it's because they ended up in their favorite story or went back in time to live the life of someone else in their own world. Actually, even if they don't go back in time and just start afresh in the same world, I'll count it too. Anime, manga, webtoons, and manhwa are all on the table. Let's go. Starting with a familiar story for most of us, we've got Erased. To give these tiers any meaning, I obviously have to put something in each of them to start us off, and this manga is an easy S tier. The anime follows more or less the same route until the terribly rushed and substituted ending, so the manga ended up beating out its adaptation in my book. This mystery suspense story stars Satoru Fujinuma, who's sent back to his childhood to undo the events that lead to him being being framed by an unknown entity for his mother's murder. A string of soon-to-be missing kids is all he has to go on, and if he doesn't change things fast, history is going to repeat itself. A tier, Tales of Demons and Gods. I'll be honest, I'm not sure if this is coming from the most objective point of view, as someone with a disposition for cultivation, but despite concerns you might have about its art, this is a genre-transcending banger. With the help of a special treasure, Nye Li returns to his childhood after falling in battle against the Sage Emperor, and with his knowledge of all the greatest cultivation techniques, martial arts, and spirit medicines, he plans to ascend to his previous cultivation faster than he ever could before, and strengthen his friends with him so he might first save his home city from destruction at the hands of demon beasts, and eventually be able to confront and defeat the Sage Emperor. I love most of the characters. People feel real in a way that's rare with Chinese manhwa, the pace is great, the storytelling is engaging, a lot of the fights are awesome, and honestly, the more I go on, the more I wonder why I'm not putting this in S tier, but we'll come back around to it. B tier, real life. 
Yes, we're getting some romance in here. I might be punishing this too strongly because my last memories are of the ending, which upset me when those chapters first came out, but I remember enjoying enough of this story that I want to have it up here anyway. It breaks the rules even more than I said was allowed, but the main character of the story is given a chance to turn his life around as part of an experiment. After accepting a mysterious spell from a stranger, our protagonist goes all Zac Efron, 17 again, and wakes up up 10 years younger the next day. The stranger, a member of the Real Life Research Institute, reveals that as part of the experiment he must complete a year of high school as a transfer student. He thinks it'll be easy, but being out of shape, out of date, and just not remembering anything he'd learned, it proves that it'll be quite the challenge as he embarks on this new journey. It's a slice of life with aspects anyone can enjoy, fun characters, and an interesting B-plot which I think has it worth considering for a read even years after its end. For C tier, we've got Tokyo Revengers, and in D tier we have Worn and Torn Newbie, which is terribly boring and follows a person going back in time to play a hit video game the moment it came out, so he's the best at it. With that out of the way, let's speed this up. Oshinoko just got its anime adaptation, and until the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood Defense Force arrives, it owns the spot of the top anime of all time with just one episode. It's the spiritual successor to Actage, in my opinion, and tells an incredible story I'm not going to spoil, but it somehow meets one of the criteria I listed, so I can't leave it off. Easy S tier. I'm kinda torn about where to put Doombreaker, but in the video I made about this story following the last human second run at life after falling to the god of destruction, I gave the story a 73 which I guess I can squeeze into B tier even though it gave me A tier enjoyment. The dungeon cleaning life of a once genius hunter follows a top hunter who is killed by an alliance of everyone. He returns to just before he rose the ranks of the hunters, but he's lost all his abilities and doesn't get his powers back until he completes quests only possible if he stops being the absolute garbage he was in his first life in what should be a tale of redemption. High C tier. It wasn't awful, but really didn't do much to be worth reading besides the funny dynamic of watching him be punished for his wrongdoings. FFF class trash hero. Overwhelming hero manages to beat the Demon King in an isekai story, but his report card's a failure because he was a piece of trash too, and he has to start from scratch to try complete the hero's journey as an actual hero. I'd have had this in B, but the second half of the story was so convoluted and the balancing was so abominable that I feel generous leaving it in C tier. Regressor Instruction Manual also gets a C. This one really shouldn't be here, but I read it recently, so it's an easy inclusion. The main character has an ability that allows him to figure out early on that a member of the supporting cast is a regressor living his second life, so he grabs onto him and doesn't let go. He wants to prove his value in any way he can to make sure the naive hero carries him in the most comfortable bus ever. A returner's magic should be special. After 10 long years, the final 6 heroes alive think they've cleared the shadow world that almost left them extinct, but the dungeon's corpse explodes to ruin them all, and this year Armin returns to his time in the magic academy to live the tales of demons and gods experience. This was the first one I read, might be biased, but I think it's solid in every category and great overall. Low A tier. If you're still here, you either don't have much to do or haven't found anything new yet, so I give you leveling with the gods. B tier for now, it might drop in the future. MC is one of the top rankers of the tower who lose to the invincible seeming, outer gods. All the other top rankers are godly figures like Kronos, Sun Wukong, Odin, and the like, and after they meet their end and are about to be wiped out, Kronos reveals he can trade his existence to send one of them back. They pick protagonist Kim Yuan and give him the key to their greatest achievements, encounters, experiences, and pool all their knowledge of the tower to create a monster that will gain unimaginable power through a platinum clear. You can tell I read this recently from how long I harped on. Return of the Frozen Player 
C-tier. Hero who saved the world has had his level reset, but keeps all his skills and becomes a super rookie under a new identity. Reborn rich, because why not? Guy gets betrayed and killed by his company, reborn in the past as the grandson of the company head, and uses future knowledge to become super successful. C tier. Volcanic Age, cultivation returner story in the Mount Hua sect. B tier. I've clearly lost all interest, you're probably only still here because I'm playing in the background or you're a completionist, so... Let's wrap this up with Omniscient Reader. I've spoken about this a bunch of times. I think there isn't a single category of storytelling that it comes up short in. But as someone who hasn't read the novel, I can only leave it in high A tier because it doesn't do anything that really makes me think, wow. Everything above C tier is better than Tokyo Revengers in my book. Most other things in C tier are at least more pleasurable. <laughs> yeah, words. I'm speaking so fast. You know what? I usually cut this out. Not today. I don't want more editing trouble. Where was I? Let's look back over the script. This isn't for Patreon today. Um, most other things in C tier are at least more pleasurable reading experiences. Thank you, English. I've been asked to make tier lists before, so even though I just don't think they're great videos, I've decided to give this one a try and... I'm scared just thinking about how it's going to perform, but th this is just to buy time while I work on what I hope will be a really good video. If you're still here, subscribe and go watch one of my actual videos, please. I promise they usually aren't as lazy and... Until next time, this has been Kenchan, luring you in with my carefully crafted mac... Oh, I messed that up again. Now we're doing this in one take. Uh, where was I? This has been Kenchan, luring you in with my carefully machinated schemes. Yeah, nailed it.